Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in this Python control structures course from How to Code Well. My name is Peter Fisher and in this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how we can skip over certain values or certain conditions within this while loop. So previously we had this while loop that also incremented the value of x every time we looped over this condition, so x is less than y. Eventually, this means that x will become the same as y, and therefore this condition would return false, which means that this while loop will no longer process. This is why we've stopped here at 20. Side note, if you're looking for a tutorial on how to create infinite loops, then do check out the first tutorial within this course. In today's tutorial, however, we're going to be skipping over the value of 15. So if x has the value of 15, we're going to be skipping over this print statement. However, we still want to process the values of 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And of course, we want to process 11, 12, 13, and 14, but we simply want to skip value 15. So to do this, we need to have another control structure within this while loop. And this is an if statement. Now, I'm going to be talking about if statements in more detail later on in this course. But today, what we're doing is we're just simply checking the condition of x, if x is equal to the value of 15. And if that is the case, we wish to skip over this process. So to do this, we have another line straight under the, the while statement. And we're going to have if x equals equals 15. And then we're going to have our colon. In the body of this if statement, we need to have another keyword. And that keyword is going to be continue. So let's type continue. Notice that my IDE has changed that to be orange which means that it is a keyword, a keyword continue. What we're doing here is we're continuing on to the next iteration of this loop. So if x equals equals 15, we're going to skip, skip that whole process, which means these two lines, line seven and eight will not run. Now, maybe you can spot a potential flaw in this logic. If seven won't run here, if line seven won't run, this means that we won't be incrementing x, which means that x will always be 15. Let's run this and double check the logic. So I'm just going to clear down the screen and then run Python and then tutorial three. So we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we've actually stopped at 15. So we haven't actually achieved what we set out to do. So why has this happened? Why have we stopped when x is set to 15? Well, let's just recap over our logic. We have two integers here. We have x and y. x is 10, y is 20. In our while loop, we have a condition where we're checking if x is less than y. This is going to return true in the first instance because x is 10, y is 20, x therefore is less then y. So x is not 15, and therefore this process won't run. We won't continue on to the next iteration of the loop. So we're down at hit number seven here, and what we're doing here is we're incrementing the value of x. So now x is 11, which is correct because when we print out x, like so, we have x is 11. We then move on to the next iteration of this loop. So x here is 11. This is still less than y, which means that this is true. x is 11. It's not 15, which means that we don't continue on to the next iteration without processing the rest of this while body. And because we're not continuing on to the next iteration of this loop straight away, we can now increment x again. So this is now set to 12, which is what we have here. Now this continues and continues until we increment this to 15. And once we've incremented it to 15, this condition is now true. So if x, which is 15, equals 15, what we're doing is we're continuing, which means that we're skipping on to the next iteration, which means that we'll never get to line seven, and therefore x will never be set greater than 15, so it'll never be 16. Because this statement here, the if statement, 
if x, which is set to 15, equals 15, then we continue. Continue means that we skip to the next iteration of this loop. Well, this is always going to be true because at this point, x will always be 15. Remember, when we're continuing, we're not processing the stuff underneath the continue statement within this current iteration. So x will never be incremented past 15. Now, this is a good example of the importance of the order in which the program is written in. So we have line four, which is the while statement. Line five is the if statement to check whether it's 15. Line six is the continue statement. So if it is 15, we continue on to the next iteration. On line seven, we're actually incrementing it. And on line eight, we print out this statement to the screen. So what we can do to fix this is move line seven all the way up to line five. Let's just bring that down like so. So now what we've done is we're incrementing x by one regardless of the value of x. So just to recap, this is the condition x less than y. We then increment x, so that will be uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, so on and so forth. If x is 15, we then continue or we skip to the next iteration of this loop. So the next check to check whether x is less than y. Remember, we have incremented x regardless of this statement. Let's run this and see what happens. Let's just save that. I'm going to clear down the screen just to make some room. Run Python tutorial three. So now we have 11, 12, 13, 14, and then we go straight to 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have skipped over number 15. So here we're saying that we're incrementing x by one, but if x is equal to 15, then we continue, which means that we skip this print statement. We skip the rest of the body of the while loop, but we skip it. We don't stop it. And therefore we move on to the next iteration. And because we're incrementing x by one each time, this will always change. This condition here will always change. And again, when we get to 20, x will no longer be less than y because x will be 20, y will be 20, x therefore will not be less than 20, and therefore we stop this while loop. Now there are times in programming where you simply want to quit out of a loop, and that is what we're going to be focusing on in the next tutorial. So please do subscribe to pick that up. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.